Hey guys, I'm here from New York and I'm so excited to tell you everything that I'm going to be doing. I'm here on my first night and tomorrow I am going to be going to Grand Central Station with Kleenex and they are turning 90 this year and so they are revealing these awesome new designs that Isaac Mizrahi has designed. So I am really excited to be at that. I'm going to keep you all updated on how it all goes through my um, social media and I'll let you know. I'll, I'm sure I'll film lots of stuff then, but today I just did some touristy fun stuff, went to Times Square and all of that, but I'm excited to tell you more. Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Um, I'm here at Grand Central Station for the Kleenex event. I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes of what's going on. So do you see this enormous Kleenex box? Okay, you can kind of get an idea of how huge this is with the LCD screen. Isn't that cool? I think I feel a little sneeze coming on. And they have all these awesome areas that people can kind of learn more about their brand. Here, see. And kind of see their current designs because here a little bit later, Isaac Mizrahi will be here to reveal his new designs. Here is an area that people can come and go on one of these kiosks and they can be entered to win a $500 shopping spree. Then I'm gonna show you kind of all the work that's gone into this. And come back here, behind the scenes. This is the madness that happens behind the scenes. No, you're good. And this is everything that's going into it for this big reveal. Yeah, I know, as if the current designs they have aren't cool enough. Isaac will have even more amazing designs. He's coming out with four of them. And you'll see them soon. Everything that I did through my blog post that you need to read and see all my pictures and you can kind of get an idea of everything that I was able to do while I was there. I was only there for a really short time. I got there Sunday and came home Tuesday. So really, really short, but it was so much fun and I'm so grateful for Kleenex and their willingness to send me there to experience such a cool thing and um, I just kept telling everyone there that works for Kleenex that this just doesn't happen to moms from Idaho I mean it just doesn't so I am just so grateful but um, so just to kind of give you like an idea of what I did on Sunday we got there at about 3 and just did some touring when I say we I went to New York with my dad. Um, Kleenex was able to send me, and they were just gonna send me really, really quick on Sunday and then go home on Monday, but if you're going to New York, you might as well stay a little bit longer. I just didn't wanna do it by myself. So I was able to get my dad to come with me because he had enough frequent flyer miles to come. It was so much fun. We hit up um, Times Square and did a little bit of um, sightseeing, just little um, sightseeing on Sunday, and then Monday was the big Kleenex day, and I went to Grand Central Station and helped Kleenex just like I tweeted and Instagrammed and everything all about their event that they were doing, and they had this enormous Kleenex box that was had different screens on each side that would light up with different designs that they currently have. 
and different ads that they have done in the past because they're celebrating their 90th anniversary. So it was really fun and people walking through Grand Central Station could come and enter to win $500 um, shopping spree. And then um, I went and grabbed some lunch with my dad, changed into some, into some comfy clothes because heaven knows you need some comfy shoes on when you're in New York. So um, went and changed and then came back just in time for Isaac Mizrahi to be there and um, he was able to reveal his four new designs that he designed just for Kleenex and they're inspired by Runway and it's a way to celebrate their 90th anniversary. So my favorite design is this floral. I mean really, could you die over this floral? I want a skirt out of this. I mean seriously. So he came out with four designs and um, actually let's put a photo in now. <laughs> Those are the four designs and so there's this floral, there's this floral in more of a blue, there's a black and white, um, kind of a I don't know, giraffe print, it's really cute. And then like a tiled print, I love all of them. And I'm so excited for the first time that I get to see all of these in store. I think they'll be in store in April and I can't wait to buy all of them because, I mean seriously, it'll be really fun to have such fun, trendy things in your house that are Kleenex, I mean really. It's stuff that you're gonna have anyway, but so fun. It was really fun to just to be around him and he's just has so much energy and is so passionate about what he does. So it was really cool just to see him in his element. After the Kleenex event, I did some shopping because heaven knows you gotta do some shopping when you're in New York and I got to go to Mood Fabrics. If you don't know what Mood Fabrics is, then you probably don't watch Project Runway. I'm a huge Project Runway fan, which is partly why I love Isaac Mizrahi so much, because he's on Project Runway. Um, but I got some really fun fabrics. I got two, and they're kind of investments realize that they are designer fabrics so they're a little more expensive but I just needed a piece of New York to take home that I could make something with so I'm so excited for I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna make but I'm really excited about what I'm gonna make with those fabrics so tune in you can see a little bit later something to remember about my trip Monday was St. Patrick's Day if you were ever in New York City on St. Patrick's Day beware of the crazy amount of drunk teenagers that will be walking the city. Holy smokes. <laughs> they, it was seriously like a frat house just out on the streets of New York. It wasn't even that night, it was that morning from everyone drinking like crazy people the night before. We saw we, the best, I think the best drunk person we saw was this guy and he had blood running down his face. He was he, he was just talking crap to all of his friends. And then we walk like a few yards later and we see these construction men and they're talking about him. We're like, what happened? Did you run into one of these poles? And they're like, no, we ran into those guys and we see these guys that he just got the crap beat out of him. Just in the middle of the day, on the street, it was kind of funny. But, so, just know if you're there on St. Patrick's Day, that's what it's gonna be like. It was just so fun and I am just so grateful for Kleenex for making this happen. What? Pinch myself, I mean seriously, I went to New York. For reals, go check out my pictures. You can see like the fun hotel room I got to stay in. It's, I mean, it was really tiny, but it was decorated really awesome. So you can see that, see some of the highlights of it. And you can talk about how much fun you've had in New York, if you've ever been, things you want to try out. Come party in my, at my blog. Um, make sure to buy them when you see them because they are freaking awesome.